Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a teleprompter for your iPhone when filming YouTube videos, or really any type of video. And the best part about this is that the teleprompter app is totally free. I'm Patricia Calacani, an Emmy Award winner, showing you how to make amazing videos so your business can make more money. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. The app is called Video Teleprompter Lite and I have a link in the description so you can go ahead and download it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the app and I'll show you how to use this. Okay, so after you open up your app, we're gonna go ahead and upload our script. So I find the easiest way to upload a script is to simply email the script to yourself. So you're gonna go to your email and just copy and paste it and then go back to the teleprompter app, click on add script, then click on compose new script. And we're gonna name this what to wear on video. And rather than um, typing it, we're just gonna paste it in. And there we go. By the way, to learn how to write a video script that actually grows your business, you can watch this video right up here. Step two is adjust the settings. So what I love about this free teleprompter app is that it gives you control over a ton of different settings. Unlike most teleprompter apps out there on the market, you have to pay for like any little any little change you wanna make. So let's dive in and make those adjustments. Okay, so we have our script in. I like to come up to the very top and add a couple lines. So I'm gonna hit return a couple times and that way it just gives me an extra couple of seconds to get ready before I have to start reading this script. Now I'm going to center this script I'm also going to adjust the font so that it's, I'm gonna try um, 55, see what that looks like. And let's hit done. Okay, it's still a little big. So what we can do is we can click on edit script up here. We now have to select, I think, all of the script. Select all, and then we're gonna make this, um, let's make it 50. Okay, that's better. We're gonna click on the settings icon at the lower left. We are going to keep the layout right here about in the middle. Um, I mean, you can always test it out and see what you like as well, but this is what I like as well as that setting. I also like tap to scroll on and dragging stop scrolling on as well. And it just makes it easier to, like if you mess up, it makes it easier to drag up and down on the script to start over. Scroll mode, we wanna leave on continuous and countdown timer for three seconds. If you click on video recording, then you can leave, I would leave that selected, record and scroll sync. We're also gonna use our front camera because it's in selfie mode. If you have a microphone plugged in, which we'll talk about in a bit, then you're gonna make sure that microphone is selected once you plug in your microphone. And you can choose your video resolution as well from there. So if you want 4K, you can choose 4K or 1080p, whichever one. We'll hit done. Let's see here, the arrows that go up and down adjust, um, that's for scrolling. So right now it's on the up arrow. So it's going to scroll up, which is the way I like it. The left arrow will start the script from the very beginning right there. The right arrow will put you at the very end of the script. So let's just go back to the beginning. The start button, of course, is to start recording and to start the scroll. Okay, the turtle and the rabbit, I just, I love those icons. So you can adjust this closer to the turtle or the rabbit and it'll go slower or faster as far as the scroll. So it depends how fast you're reading. Um, again, the red button is to record. You can also make some adjustments like the AE. You can adjust the exposure and so forth of your video. Those are the main settings that I like to have. Okay, I realize that this video is just for iPhones. So if you're still watching this and you have an Android or you wanna use a teleprompter for a fancy camera, 
Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on how to do that. Okay, step three is to test it out. So now that we've made our adjustments in the settings, let's make sure that everything runs smoothly, that the script goes up at a good speed, um, that the font size is good, all of that. So let's go ahead and plug in our microphone. And if you're wondering uh, what microphone should I use, I've got you covered. Watch this video right up here. It has my favorite best budget microphones. All right, so let's go ahead and do our run through. I'm gonna keep my eye right here so that it's at the same level as the lens camera. Okay, so let's start. Another tip when it comes to color is you wanna make sure that the color of shirt you wear Okay, that's a little, a little slow. I'm gonna make this a little faster. Okay, let's start. Another tip when it comes to color is you wanna make sure that the color of shirt you wear is also your color of season. Sound weird? Okay, let me explain. It's called the Four Seasons Color Theory by the company Color Me Beautiful. And basically, each one of us, male or female, falls into one of four types of color seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. This all depends on your hair color, skin tone, etc. When you wear colors that are in your season's color palette, you look your best. Okay, yay, so we found a great speed to go with, and we're gonna keep those settings and just go with it, go with the flow. And you can always just drag up and down if you need to um, stop and start over or anything like that. So when you're done recording your script, go ahead and click the stop button, then click save, and then click save video, and it'll save right onto your phone. Okay, before we push record, I just wanna share some tips to make sure that your viewers can't tell that you're actually reading from a teleprompter because that's like the last thing we want them to think. Unfortunately, you lose a little bit of trust there because they're thinking, oh, she's just reading this. She's not actually talking to me. So tip number one is make sure and keep your eyes in one spot. Let the script, let the words come up to your eyes and don't read the script from side to side or up and down because no one trusts anyone who is shifty eyed, if you know what I mean. Okay, and tip number two is to center the script. So rather than having the words start lining up on the left, just have them centered and that way it's easier to keep your eyes in one spot and not like move your eyes. So center the script. And tip number three is don't film yourself super close to your camera. What I recommend is basically putting yourself like from the middle of your torso, basically like where I am and have like a medium shot. And that way your eyes won't be super close on camera or on video, they won't be like as big. So it's harder for the viewer to tell that you are reading something just in case your eyes do tend to move a little bit. So it's just like for a safety measure. And step four, yes, you are ready to push record. And don't worry if you mess up, thanks to that setting we made, you can just drag the script up and down so you can start over. And it's not like it's live, so no pressure, you've got this. And by the way, I know that this script example that I've been talking about is about what to wear on video. So if you wanna actually watch that video so that you look amazing based on just the clothes you wear, then click right up here and watch what to wear on camera so you look your very best. Now to film yourself professionally on a phone so you look hands down amazing, go ahead and download my free guide and training video. This is where I walk you through how to create a set in any location, how to light yourself so you look better on video than in real life, and so much more. So go ahead and click the link below this video. Alrighty, if you loved this video or, or just liked it, I would love it if you gave it that thumbs up and subscribed to my channel. And let me know in the comments if you are going to try out this app. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you later.